if you are traveling this weekend or have plans to be running out this weekend, that's where you might run into some showers. So you'll want the rain gear, especially Sunday and Monday. Tomorrow, I think we see some showers potentially early in the morning on our Friday, uh, but overall fairly cloudy day. We'll get some rain overnight tonight. That's mainly going to affect southern and eastern portions of the state. And then by Saturday, we're looking mostly dry. Good to go. No issues there. Sunday is when it returns to that wet weather here. Temperatures will be mild though. We're staying in the 50s over the next four days. So you have that to look forward to if you're not a fan of the cold. Tomorrow's forecast, we head into Friday. Some showers in the morning. Temperatures are really mild tonight. We'll be in the mid 40s, I think, as you're waking up Friday. By the afternoon, we're back down into the low 50s with a mostly cloudy sky. We'll dry out by the second half of the day tomorrow. Super Doppler 8 is showing the cloud cover out there, and it's been a very overcast and gray day today. Maybe a few sun breaks, but we'll notice more clouds rolling in late tonight and into the day tomorrow. No fog initially here across central Iowa. We've got more patchy fog out towards northwest Iowa and then back up towards the Iowa Falls area. But I think anyone could run into some spots of fog early tomorrow morning with the cloud cover and a little bit of that light rain. Temperatures today close to 50, if not into the 50s. We're at 54 right now in Knoxville, 52 down in Creston and into the upper 40s now currently in Ames. Next 12 hours will keep us mild. We'll hang out in the upper 40s for uh, the early evening. And then as we go into the overnight, we stay very consistent here in the mid 40s uh, through early tomorrow morning. Those rain chances again ramp up a little bit overnight tonight. Low 50s Friday, we're nearing 60. Saturday. Again, Saturday is going to be the dry day of the weekend. Sunday, the rain chances return at a pretty uh, high coverage here across the state, and that does linger into Monday. Temperatures will be very mild, so it will just be rain, but we've got a couple several days here to deal with some showers, which we desperately need here across the state. By tomorrow morning, we've got disturbance rushing through here. It's going to bring us some rain. Central Iowa, we're going to be right on the edge of that. Most of that's going to affect southern and southeastern Iowa. It's out of here fairly quickly. Second half of your Friday is dry, but overall fairly cloudy and I think the clouds will linger into the day on Saturday. I don't think we see too much sunshine for the first half of your weekend and then the rain chances again ramp back up late Saturday night into the day on Sunday. We're looking at more rain, so we've got rain Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday of next week. This is just one model's forecast taking us all the way into Wednesday. So after the whole event is said and done, we've got anywhere between an inch and a half of rain, upwards of two, maybe two and a half inches of rain in some spots. So we've got a healthy dose of rain coming. Unfortunately, time wise, it plays out to be right over the holiday weekend and into the first part of next week. Tonight's forecast keeps us back into the 40s tomorrow into the low to mid 50s for some spots across southern. Iowa eight day forecast looks like this. We've got four more days of the 50s warmest days Saturday and Sunday right around 50 on Christmas Day for Monday with the rain. It cools off a little bit by Tuesday and then temperatures are back in the 40s by Wednesday and Thursday overnight lows dropping finally back below freezing by Thursday and Friday mornings.